Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the CCM JetSpeed FT6 Pro Pant Review. So this is hard to get on camera just because they're pants and they kind of take up a lot. So I'm going to try to do my best on this, but we are going to compare this pant with the old and trusty CCM UCLP. So these are basically one of the best uh, pro stock pants on the market. They're used by a ton of players. And there is kind of a newer one, which is the HP 45, which is a slightly just like different materials type thing. But we're gonna compare this one because lack, and it's honestly pretty close in terms of like what this was. And this was kind of a retail pan at one point. So we're gonna kind of take a comparison between these two and kind of see what you should look for when you're buying a pant and if you should buy retail or if you look at pro stock. We're gonna take a look at that one in a little bit. We're gonna go over a bunch of features on here first and then compare like where this might be lacking compared to the other one or where this one is better. So first of all, I have to call this out right away. Huge thanks to CCM for sending me this whole line. So they sent me the gloves, the elbow pads, the shin pads, and the pants as well as the stick to do content on and to make reviews on. Obviously this is the pant review. I did the glove review already. It was very impressive. I'm a huge fan of them. So we'll take a look at these pants and see how these compare and if these are worthwhile grabbing. Kind of the overview of what the FT6 Pro is trying to be, but it's a pretty tight fitting pant overall and it is very light and this is a pretty light pant for what it is, but it's also semi-protective. So this pant isn't like when you go to the lower end models where there's no plastics at all or no like real hard foams. So they're even lighter than this. This one does give you a, some protection in places and isn't just kind of bare bones. So if you get anything in the thigh, it's gonna be an issue. But before we begin all that, if you're shopping for hockey equipment and you're in Canada and the United States, check out the links in the description. If you're in Canada to hockey supremacy, if you're in the US to pure hockey, clicking those links and making a purchase gives me a kickback, helps support the channel so I can make more content and doing more reviews. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything, check out the links in the description to Patreon and buy me a coffee. Everything through any of those links always comes back into the channel so I can keep making more content and doing more videos. Starting on the outside of this pant, and we're gonna cover this uh, when we do the comparison, but we're, we'll just, mention it right now you do have a velcro piece on the stomach part right here so instead of having a tie or anything it just velcros in like that and you can adjust it back and forth and they do obviously as well have this belly flap right here that has a bit of protection in it and it just kind of sits there right with this adjustable belt piece right here so this in, this belt piece right here is actually pretty interesting obviously you just have a nylon belt right here but it's their anti-twist which it's, the letters are falling off right here, but but that is what this says here, this anti-twist belt system. And the interesting thing about this belt system is it goes throughout the whole inside, obviously right here, but it is exposed when you go back here, you can see it is this plastic piece right here, which is kind of interesting. And that's plastic kind of on both sides. Hopefully that's gonna come off on camera, you can see that shine. So that is that plastic piece on both sides right there and it goes all the way through here as well so this kind of has this plastic piece and you can feel it right here you can feel that right there and then it comes out as just this piece right here so it's kind of interesting how that totally works when you stick your finger in here to see this connection point this piece feels like it's sewn onto that kind of plastic inner belt piece and the idea is that it doesn't like twist upside down and get obviously uh, twisted inside there so it's easier to do up and everything and when we look at here and how this does up you can it's really simple obviously it's just a, a tie piece but it does crank pretty decently but it does have that overall total shape to it so you can see how it's kind of rounded very interesting idea and design there i personally haven't had issues with belts ever kind of like flipping over and twisting on themselves. So kind of interesting that they went that route. Maybe that plastic piece in there gives some more rigidity and kind of shape to the pant itself and helps in another way as well. But something I never really thought about and really thought was needed, but it is there. You also have this adjustable piece here. So you get the extra length adjustment. So you get longer legs. So I think that's a plus two overall adjustment. Pretty standard on retail pants. They basically all have that now. Just overall pretty standard looking shell down here. We'll talk about the internals in a second. But one of the pieces that is kind of nice on here, and they've been doing this for a while where it has a gap. Well, sometimes there's like a gap you could sew on. This is just all on. So you got to, if you have to embroider on your team logo, it's nice that it kind of just, the padding comes off the top there and you can put it on there. So nice touch in regards to that. And this piece is attached to the side over here. And you do have that pant right here. And continuing just on that outer shell, you have your belt. Well, it's like your outer Usually this is kind of the belt piece, but just your outer kind of padding here to block that gap between the upper and the lower. There is no like two piece here. So this is all one piece 
design. So you can't unbuckle it like some pro sock pants like this one where you can remove the uppers and lowers and you basically have two pieces together. Not like that on the retail pant. And you have semi pretty decent coverage for the hip padding over here. And, but then we go in the back and again, nothing crazy and pretty standard stuff going on the pants themselves. There's some stretch pieces in there as well as you can kind of see right here. Then you get your zipper on here to expand the pant leg. I like how there is no Velcro here and that's the zipper does everything itself and you can just hide the zipper away. I find that that Velcro kind of causes issues sometimes and pants kind of rip apart. So as long as the zipper stays put and is durable enough, that will hold and I'm a huge fan of just having that there. And then we get on to the back section right here. We have this plastic piece for the kind of spine protection to protect your lower back. And I'm like, that's all good and everything. Before CCM would put D3O and they might still do it in the tax line. That's not here. It's just a plastic piece with a decently dense enough foam back here to add protection there. So pretty decent overall. And when we get onto here, we do see the AirTag. So we'll cover this part right now. AirTag ventilation system, I've mentioned it on the gloves and I'll mention all the other pieces. It 100% work on everything but this. So I never noticed the AirTag system whatsoever on this at all, but that is what this blue is right here. And the whole purpose of AirTag is to help ventilation and to allow cool air to come through your body, to help cool your body down so you can perform at your peak for longer. But for this right here, I never noticed a difference between this pant and a pro stock pant wearing them back to back. So. I'm gonna say on the pants, it wasn't really something that worked and I think it was just kind of a carryover. Now I can totally see where they kind of tried to put this in and that is on the sides right here. So you can see how all this foam here is kind of perforated on the sides here and it kind of comes through here. So all this is perforated foams and it should be able to breathe, especially through here and you can see the perforated foams through this piece as well on camera. Hopefully you can see kind of my finger coming through there. And so this part and everything should be able to breathe a little bit, but honestly, I didn't feel at all. And even with this like perforated foams everywhere, these pants didn't run any cooler than a normal pair of pants. So I really don't think this was really doing a whole lot to be totally honest. And if when you look over here, this doesn't really have any air, like ability for air to come through here where this kind of sits. So it might've been interesting to see if this piece right here, which is a lot thinner with perforations through it and like a spandex material. When you look at how thin that is right here, so you can see how like you can see my finger through that and everything. It would be interesting if that material carried all the way along here to let that air go through. But without it, I didn't really notice anything and it really didn't breathe better than other pants. That ventilation padding also continues down towards the bottom of the liner. So you can see it right here as well. And when you look on the back side, you can kind of see how, hopefully how see-through this material is on the back. So really that ventilation could go through back there, but because I find it's on the back and not on the front kind of coming through, it doesn't really work all that well. And when you look at the back of this, you can see the perforation right here. But you look at the back and it's not perforated, it's just a normal liner. So it doesn't really go through that whole way. So again, I don't think AirTech is really doing much on these and feels like a gimmick on these pants specifically, unlike the rest of the line of gear. Also interesting in here, before we get to the tailbone protector, you have this elastic right here kind of keeping these parts from really stretching out and going anywhere it is pretty loose which is kind of interesting but i mean these felt totally fine and, and well and they honestly felt pretty good on me so that is just kind of an interesting piece that it exists right here finally we get onto this kind of tailbone protector and protector to be totally honest this is a pretty soft foam through here and it does have perforation so it has holes in it I don't know if this is the air tech or if this is just trying to make them lighter. And then it has a more dense piece in here and it does feel like this might, it's either a hard foam or it's a plastic. So I can flex it. So it feels like it's closer to uh, a foam. This top piece right here is definitely a plastic. So these are just hard foams throughout here. And then you can see that perforation through here. So this butt padding was honestly not very good. And this is a thing with pants and I've noticed with retail pants quite a lot, to be honest, kind of padding on a lot of spots are really lacking. And a lot of comments, people will say, well, don't fall down. Hockey is a contact sport. Even if you're not playing like hitting, full hitting, there is contact. Sometimes people trip you and things. So sometimes you fall. That was a case with this. And I noticed it pretty easy. A guy just honestly took my feet out from behind me, from behind the net, fell straight on my butt. And this was super uncomfortable and didn't do a whole lot in terms of overall protection. Brings us to this pro sock pant right here and the pad back here. So you can see this kind of ripping here. This is a foam piece in here for padding and this is a lot thicker without any of that perforation in it. So you get a lot more padding through here and comfort on here for landing on it. So these are a lot better on the butt pad. And this is a thing I've kind of called out retail pants 
over and over again. I should say specifically CCM retail pants because they're really the only ones I've worn besides pro socks. They're just not padded enough. This could be a lot better on the retail ones like this is and you get a lot more padding and a lot more comfort to it. So I wish that was the design. And before we jump into the direct comparisons, you can interestingly see the foam pieces on the kind of the back thigh padding right here. And you can see how it has this plastic insert with this perforated foam right here. So this part is kind of sliding out of this piece right here. So really it should kind of sit into here. And then this part folds over as well. But it does give us an idea of what the padding is back here. So I was curious when I did like my kind of hit test, which I'll show in a second of this. And you can see that is a piece of plastic with foam right there. So I'm gonna cover that up. Here are the FT6 pants, obviously, and on me. I figured it's a good idea to kind of show how this is compared to one of the better pro stock models. And so we'll kind of go over this real quick. The right here is actually pretty amazing. So these thigh pieces are really solid and really hard. Can flex them a bit, but the protection here and how thick these are is pretty impressive. I This is a big improvement over some of the pants I use, like retail pants in the past. So this is really solid. The interesting thing about these pants and compared to those is anything past here, there's no padding. So anything here is totally exposed, which you do get, but usually on CCM pants, there's like a little bit of foam that kind of helps on here and it goes up kind of here. Right here, there is nothing. There's zero padding anywhere right here. This, obviously the jock, everything here though, is just totally bare. So if you ever get a puck in here, it's going straight into your body and it's not nice. And yeah, we'll show you the pro stock ones and how they're kind of better for that. The hip padding stops, like right here, there's a soft foam piece here, but then the thicker piece is right here and then it's harder right here. This piece right here, very solid. It should be extended more, but you can, this feels like it's a plastic. I'm not sure if it's just a really hard foam, but it feels really solid and it kind of comes all the way over to here and it, it's well done. Same with this piece kind of comes here and then there is, this right here is like a softer foam and it has, it might have a plastic in it as well, but it's not crazy padded and it's okay just the way it wraps. It actually does a pretty decent job. You have a softer foam right here too. So over here, the wrap is okay and pretty good. This is solid on the hip, but again, there's like nothing right here. And this is part of like right here, you can see through, you can kind of see the design of my underwear there. But this is part of that air tech part where this is supposed to be like breathe better, which we'll talk about in a second. But you, la you lose all that padding right here. And that's honestly not that great. And then going onto the back, you have the padding kind of continues here. That, that plastic piece stops here. And here we have the pro socks. These are UCLPs. Like the weight on these and the mobility on these is fantastic. These felt great out right away. They don't have to break them in. They're really good. Padding here and everything actually feels thinner than what is on the FT6, but it's a more dense foam. So protection on there is kind of close. Honestly, the FT6 might be better for this area right here, but that's kind of where it ends because you do have a foam piece right here and you can see it kind of right here. It's small, but it makes a nice difference going up here and it covers all in here. So all in here, you have a foam piece, which yes, getting pockets to here kind of still sucks, but this foam piece makes a big difference in like overall protection compared to when there's nothing. And this hip piece, which is right here, comes deeper in more. And this is all thicker foams right here. So all of that is a thicker foam, thicker foam here too. So there is foam all right here. Nothing here, this is all jock, but all right here, there is also foam kind of coming all here. So you have all that extra padding on there. And the hip padding kind of comes back a little further. So I think the other one kind of ended here. This kind of goes all the way through. So you have that. And then this pant wrap too, this piece is more protective than what is on the H, uh, FT6 Pro, where this is really close to sizing of this and like thickness. It's just flatter. And then you do have a small piece here, but this isn't a huge loss on the FT6 Pro. It's not a major thing. This is just better overall. So thankfully I can kind of take this out and kind of show off what this is made of. So the outer liner has this kind of padded piece right here. It has this harder, you can see this isn't plastic, but this is like a denser foam. You can see my hand leaving imprints on there. So you have this pretty dense foam overall, which again, not a plastic, but pretty stiff overall. And then a softer padded foam behind that is perforated. So instead of that plastics that's in, well, I don't know if there are plastic in that, but that one definitely is stiffer. This one does not have that plastic piece overall. But looking at this right here, I am totally satisfied with what this is for padding. And I talked about that in the comparison. This piece itself is pretty good. It's kind of everywhere else that really feels kind of like it's lacking. And even right here, where this is just like a stomach guard thing, this, even if it's thinner, has like the same protection <laughs> than what this one does. So this one is probably a little bit lighter because it's perforated, but this one just feels nicer. And another thing I 
want to call out here is I hate this Velcro design. It, I get it simple and some people are probably going to like it, but this tie up just lets you really adjust it better and honestly more tight feeling and it just feels better. And it, because it's always symmetrical where this one, when I do it like looser, it doesn't feel like it's fitting totally symmetric on me and then when i want to crank it it just doesn't feel like it's always right and i always hate the thought of that exposed velcro maybe getting caught on a jersey and stuff so i really don't like the velcro thing here i really wish they just did whole normal ties right here but i think the tax line does have normal ties so it's more of a obviously personal preference and kind of a nitpick thing in regards to that the liner on both of these honestly the one on the ft6 is a lot more smoother feeling as you, hopefully you can kind of hear that versus this which is a lot softer and more plush. This one definitely felt a lot less wet when I was using it. So I wouldn't mind seeing this one transferred over onto like the Pro Socks because honestly, both these liners are fine, but this one definitely does kind of feels like it soaks in sweat and some moisture in there a little bit worse. Can see some wear right here. And that is gonna be on basically, I think it's rubbing against my jock right here. And you can see kind of that wear spot right here. So I only wore these about, I'm gonna say 15 times, 20 times and you're getting that spot right here. I've worn these easily in the hundreds and there's no issue whatsoever with wear on that, that part right here. So that part as well ends up sitting right here in the pants. So the fact that that has no wear and this one does leads me to believe that this liners might be a little bit more durable and is a reason why that's on the pro stock version versus these because that one is kind of concerning right there. That is kind of picking up and pilling and wearing right there. Just to give a better look of it, you can see how that piece is pilling right there. One thing that is kind of noticeable right here too, is you can see the difference in the like back padding. So this one does have that like new system with the plastic on it, but it doesn't really have any wings or anything. So it doesn't really cover back here. It's just the back. Whereas when you look on this one, it was this really nice molded foam. You can see this stuff on shoulder pads. It's all white. I like this material. It's pretty solid. This one feels definitely more protective if you get hit in the plastic piece, but look at the size difference between these two. So, and when we look on the back, you can kind of see it as well. This one kind of goes up more, but this one is wider. So I definitely prefer this overall design, but this one does have some overlap with these pieces as well. But this one is still like my preference for this. And it definitely is kind of just harder and I love this design. It's one of the better ones on the market, to be totally honest. Going on the side pieces here, you can just see the different shape and everything on here. So you have a bit more, you have another piece right here, so it will bend a bit more. But this is actually harder than what this is. This is actually a lot softer material. So you're actually gonna get more protection on this one. I Assuming this is that molded foam that's really similar on the top. So interesting that this is kind of beefed up from what this is and kind of a nice spot because that is kind of the cross check in the hip area. So. Pretty nice design on this one being a little bit more protective in that sense. Then you do have your suspender loops right here and you don't really have those here, but these you can use these right here. This is for the lowers and upper change, so you can use that there. So another difference here too is where this has this belt on the outside right here. This one was all internal. And I mentioned I never had any issues with twisting, but you can see this belt is flipped over. It just, I like unfold it over, but again, never had any issues down there, but it is folded over right here. Now, another big difference on these two is really this kind of hip protective piece. Now, this one is honestly just bigger and hopefully this kind of comes off on camera, but this is a bit deceiving because it's all this is one, but it's not red. So it kind of looks a little bit less, but this one definitely just is a lot. It, there's a lot more to it. It also comes out on the front like here where this one doesn't at all. So you kind of lose all that protection around your like growing area. This one is just not existing. The other thing, it, the other thing is the thickness between these two. This one is a lot thinner across all of it where this one is a lot more plush and thicker. Not that this offers a ton of padding. It's more of a comfort type thing. This one does have that piece in here too though. This hip pad which does feel kind of like a plastic. And I think it is because you can kind of see that ridge and I can't really bend it at all. So it still does have a plastic in there for padding where this one has, again, I think there's a plastic in here, but I think there's a foam on the outside of it. But this one is just bigger overall. You can kind of see the size difference on there. The plastic piece is basically my hand on the right and it's this on the left. So a lot bigger on the Pro Sock one. So you get a lot more protection on there. And again, this should hopefully show off how much bigger this piece is all around and kind of showing off where you get better protection there. And when you shove that liner in, you can really see like there's a plastic piece right there. And then there's that really thin piece right here that covers here, but then nothing here. So you can see where that gap of protection basically is between this piece and here. It's all right here. And you can see my hand right through here. So maybe this is part of that air tech where air is supposed to flow through but again didn't feel it whatsoever on these pants and as a comparison when we look at these 
you don't have any of those kind of air, you can't see through it type thing, but that soft padding is all covering here, all the way down to here. You have, and even right here, soft padding is covering here, nothing covering right here. But that's the gap difference right there. All that has soft padding. Where this, the gap difference is basically, it's like from here down to here. So you can see a huge difference in overall padding coverage. And again, that's kind of the big difference between the pro sock pants and the retail pants is like the gap padding gaps kind of all over. And that is evident when you kind of put them on and when you fall, to be totally honest. And then on the back, you do have a lot thinner here. So this one just is so much thinner to it than what back here is. And this is where that thick padding piece kind of keeps wrapping around a lot more. So that's like right there. And this one, the plastic one ends here. So you can definitely tell a difference between these two. And I'm sorry that this is on black and they're not see-through, but I'm trying the best I can kind of show this off. Finally, one last tiny part that's very minimal overall. The Pro Sock ones do have like this tiny little uh, flap that goes right here, kind of up here. And it's just a foam piece. just for a little bit extra protection on the inner thighs. I do, you do sometimes get pucked under there if you try to block a shot or a slap shot goes through your legs and hits that. So this doesn't exist at all in here. So this just ends right here and it goes all the way up. It's just empty. There's nothing here at all for padding. So you can kind of see again how that Pro Sock pant is just kind of the next level up from what these retail ones. So it should kind of be obvious where I'm leaning to in this when I talk about like lack of protection and stuff. Obviously the Pro Sock ones are just simply better in protection wise. And these are a, still a light pant and there's a reason they're extremely, extremely popular in the pro market. And even the HP 45s I have are still very light and feel fantastic. Obviously retail, they're kind of trying to do a different thing here. And it's been like that way with like the old tax I used. I even bought a pair of pro stock tax HD take TKs. And honestly, they were the retail tax with a pro stock shell on it. They weren't like beefed like this. There is an XP version I haven't seen but the stock one was just as disappointing as what this one was in terms of protection and overall kind of idea behind it. But you see more and more teams using them. So I'm wondering how that's like a thing because these are very, very good pants and a ton of teams use them. And when you go with this, the weight difference between this and this is not substantial enough. I handed both of these to my producer and said, which one's lighter? She just shook her head. Like they're so close, it doesn't matter. Now again, I could weigh these, but it doesn't really matter because when they're on your core and your like body itself, all that weight is right on your hip because they're so indifferent in terms of weight 20 grams even 100 grams there around your whole body is not going to make a difference and make you need to get these over these now one place that the ft6 pro does just honestly beat the, these ones and these are totally broken in because i've had them for years and years and years these are more mobile there is less padding in it like up here so just less to get in the way of that isn't to say these are that isn't to say that these really cause you to lack mobility and movement and everything. That's not the case whatsoever. It's just like kind of wearing uh, something with slight padding and then just nothing at all. The movement on this that you gain from not wearing like this one isn't a big enough difference. And honestly, you just get used to this in like two seconds and you can move totally fine in it and have no restrictions. So it's not a big deal. It's just, yes, this one, you can move slightly bit better in this than you can with this one. So this pant doesn't offer anything that makes it really better than what these are. These are just better all around. And these ones are a lot more, pro, yeah, pro stock isn't like a direct retail market thing. So it's not a direct comparison of doing a pro stock pant compared to like a retail pant because retail pants have warranties and all that. Doesn't make sense to me. And I'm really disappointed how this was something that is so good. And honestly, CCM, I feel it like could just come out with this again and be like, hey, look, new pant. And it would be the best pant or one of the best pants on the market when this one is just kind of lacking in a lot of places. One thing that I see a lot of is I see people in, like junior b wearing like team pants and stuff and like lower tier ones and ft6 like the pro ones and even like some junior a players and some colleges the thing is and i see a bunch of people online like triple a kids and double a kids oh i don't need these pants these pants are great the thing is if this is all you're using that's really all you know of so you don't really know that there's anything better out and you don't really know like this exists and you haven't used it so you don't know that this is just so much better than what these are so it kind of comes down to people like oh yeah that's fine and good enough well it's only fine and good enough because you haven't used the actual good versions of them that exist and that like all the nhl players are wearing type really disappointing that these are still kind of the same idea for pants where there is just lacking protection in a lot of places and that lack of protection doesn't make them like way lighter so that you definitely need this if you want to be fast compared to this because these are fantastic as is so it's always tough and annoying when that is the case the conclusion of this is i just can't recommend retail pants at all i think these are like over 200 dollars now and it's it's tough i had these two choices for free i'm going with this one 100 of the time now i would really like to see ccm like utilize these 
that they have in the past and they came out with that girdle which people love and people are using but i would love to see something like this back which just is a better overall pant than what this is so kind of disappointing in that sense i was really hoping these were going to be a lot better and there definitely is improvements like this piece is like honestly pretty solid it is a hard piece it does its job i've taken pucks to it i've taken hips to it this is padded enough and pretty solid it's just the rest of it around here could be so much better and i just think the overall package isn't worth it at all so thank you very much for watching this video hopefully it was helpful again my conclusion just buy pro stock and if you have questions of what pro stock pant to buy feel free to message me leave a comment i'll try to answer best i can i really only have experience with ccm ones a few models of ccm ones so if you're looking at like warriors and stuff, I can't really give you too much advice there. Or same with Bowers. I have a little bit of knowledge of a couple Bowers, like 195s, because I have seen them and tried to buy them. If you have questions or whatever, let me know and I'll try to answer it best as possible. I just all, don't really recommend going retail at all for pants. And I'll stay behind that until I find a retail pant that just like is as good as these basically, because these are great. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you want to see me review specific gear, let me know below in the comments and let the companies like CCM, for example, know that you want to see hockey reviews, review their equipment, be good. You appreciate it. Helps me get on the company company's radar huge thanks to ccm for sending me this whole line of gear to review fortunately this one didn't really pass my tests and i'm not too thrilled with it but that's why i like doing reviews and i feel that these are helpful to people remember to like this video remember to subscribe to me on youtube follow me on instagram and tiktok links are in the description if you're buying any hockey related equipment and live in canada united states and you want to support the channel check out the links in the description in canada hockey supremacy in the u.s to pure hockey clicking those links making a purchase gives me a kickback so i can keep making more videos and doing more reviews otherwise check out the links in the description to buy me coffee everything in, through any of those links always comes back into the channel so i can keep making more content and doing more videos thank you very much for watching and take it easy you're watching hockeyreviews.ca